The romance novel is by far the most popular genre in modern literature and one that appeals to readers of all ages. For sure. So spice up your Valentine's Day or someone else's just by opening a book. Wyatt Wegerson owns Bookworks and joins us again with an assortment of romance books to read for yourself or give as a gift. Hi, Wyatt. Hi, good morning. How Hi. you doing? I love romance novels. Oh, I did not know those are the most popular, but um, can you tell us some about some of the classic romance novels that you brought for us to Take a look oh, at. Absolutely. I brought a couple. Okay. Well, Jane Eyre, of Total course, classic. is a mm. super classic. You maybe you remember your first like romance novel that you yes. read. Um, there's also Pride and Prejudice, of course. Good one. And so all the Jane Austen books are gonna be a great, you know, a great gift for, you know, someone that you like. Or mm. just to just to go back and and one I like yeah. is Like Water for Chocolate. Like Water for Chocolate. <laughs> Have That's you ever read that one? Such a good one. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. No, I love that. And there's the, the new Janet Ivanovich book that is out. She's uh, the, the one that does the numbers, right? Yes. Because, okay, so that's more of a contemporary one then, right? Right, but this okay. is a different book. This is an offshoot. This is called The Husband List. Oh, and what is that about? How You shouldn't really have a list of husbands, should you? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a list to get the one that you want. Oh, oh, I need to get that. So, okay. and also for, so for teens, when we started reading in romance, I grabbed one of the Hunger Games because there's a great romance story in, in, in that one, I which you wouldn't think. think. Yeah, right, you, yeah, I've read the Hunger Games, but I, you know, there is, I guess, some romance in there, but it's very adventurous too. Mm -hmm. just, it, it, it's very adventurous, so it goes for boys and girls. And okay. then there's another one by Gail Foreman, okay. which is uh, Just One Day. And, and what this, is that take, about? this takes place about two teens who meet in London and they spend a day together and so and, and so it's about about uh, her story okay and then, like the next day he's gone and so it's about yes uh, there's a little heartbreak, heartbreak. In there, too. that always there, makes for a good book there are some other wonderful books um, that just that can just rip your heart out there's a book called say her name but there's so many wonderful romance books and there's a great Ro local romance authors as well. Okay. And we're going to have an event with Sandra Toro. She wrote a book be uh, between the Adobe Walls, and that's coming up in March. And nice. So, so uh, we love keep... reading about from local authors. We really appreciate them, and we try to highlight them a lot on the show. So. And you guys, Bookworks is actually having a Valentine's Day party on Thursday. Tomorrow we're having yeah. a kids Valentine's party in the morning, and we're going to be announcing our winners from our Valentine's contest. Okay. And so we'll be announcing that tomorrow as well. Oh, nice. So it's a good way to get the kids involved and really get them excited about reading. And we want to tell everybody where Bookworks is located so they can come on over. Yes, we're located uh, on Rio Grande, uh, just north of Griegos, uh, in the Flying Star Plaza, right next to Flying Star. We love that. Well, we are so glad when you're here, and we appreciate your great recommendations. And if somebody comes in at any age, you can recommend the right book for them. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Wyatt. We Thank appreciate you, so you being Thank here. You. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Well,